and we're back with some more tears because I actually care about James now. I mean, I kind of feel like this was just pulled out of the blue, though, a little bit also. I have a story so many times, I believe it. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so he has sorry. a lot of toxic masculinity, doesn't he? It's okay. I feel like this would be traumatizing, but in, like, the fact that he said shame, that he pus pushed down the shame, I feel like it would just be really scary, but I don't know if I would feel shame about it. It's a very masculine thing, I think for him. Now look at me now. Now I'm tall and huge. And I'm guardian. This is actually really emotional though. Look at him lifting up his younger self. Aw, that was really cute. Whoa. Good evening. This is Cara Danvers with Capco Media. <laughs> She's such a nerd. And this is a worldwide exclusive. This is Dreamer. So proud of you, my child. So you are both human and alien. Yes. Oh wow. My parents so powerful. That humans and aliens coexist. I am also a trans woman. I'm different than Stanford. I'm just taking it in. Coexist. Just have to hear it one more time. Just one more time. And I am living proof of that. I am also a trans woman. I'm different than Stanford's, but so is everybody. So happy. I don't know when that became such a bad thing. Trans alien. I saw how amazing. Each other. So here I am. I am both human and alien. And I'm a trans woman. I just so say it again. Say it one more time louder for the people in the back. Thank I'm you. But my father is my spy. I'm oh, Lena. Uh, wow, she's literally weeping. Same. My Patronus is a devil gray stallion. I'm an Bringing that Harry Potter, dropping it in. No big deal. What's your house, though? She a real Hufflepuff, we know it. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Ask Lena. Lena, does Lena know? Yes. She's in love with Cara Danvers. Look at her doing season one Supergirl speeches right now. I love that they're that they both know that there are secret identities and that they're bonding over that. Also, just to point that out. I, none of us should be afraid of who we are. Nor should we fear sharing that. Um, go ahead and go bear your soul to Kara in this moment. If there ever was a moment, this is it. It feels so paralyzed right now because I'm not able to. I'm I love this moment. I love Wise Brainy. Bitch. Super girl it up. Time to put the cape on. She really got her her what are they called? What were those springs called? Oh, jacket style. She's doing the cape thing, but with the jacket. Slinky. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Her slinky whip. Fear sucks. Let's kick I'm in love with them. I stan one couple on this show. You saved me. What's it? <laughs> oh hell yeah. Lay it out, James. Lay it out on him. Shoot him with some laser eyes, King. Am I a James Stan now? Probably not, but he's more likable in this episode for sure. That much is true. What about your job? I don't care. Oh, wow. In fact, if you need an Amertech whistleblower, I'm willing to go on the record. Thank you. Thank you, honey. No one calls. Okay, I'm sorry. My brother has never called me sis. Ever. No one does that. Thank you, Edna. Oh, it's happening. 
Look at that maroon blazer. They both look so good, I'm sorry. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let us prepare our bodies and souls. I'm sorry, I'm so short with you. I don't know where my super gay seal is also. It's been, it's been a long couple of months. I have no idea where that guy is. I'll find him. just trying to do your job. Even if you've been standing right next to me when Lex escaped, I really wouldn't have let you be there for me. What do you mean? Why? Because I'm the one that's keeping secrets? No. I mean, we know that's not true, but why? I was working the pension. She, she don't to... care. Kara, this is your moment. This is your moment to reveal yourself. She's admitting something that's potentially harmful to your relationship. One right back at it and evens out. It'll be fine. Even four months ago, he, he's my brother. And in my heart, I knew he was manipulating me, but I believed him. I can only imagine what you think of me, Carl. I don't blame you. No. Oh my god. You are not weak, kind hearted, be beautiful? I'm sorry, wait. There's no reason for you to say beautiful in this moment, unless you're gay. You are not. Weak. Let's just get you there. Brilliant, beautiful soul. Beautiful but soul. Okay. In life and death situations, you can judge you for that. Oh. I'm so sorry, you felt like you couldn't tell me. Tell her you're Supergirl right now. Oh. I am obsessed with them. She's like never cried on the show before. That's not true. Oh, they're gonna take it down now. Kara and Supergirl, or I mean Kara and Lena are good. Supergirl and Lena are good. They're unstoppable now. Unstoppable force to be reckoned with. Does he have a crush on that boy who is an alien? I just feel that is happening right now. Oh. Okay, you don't have to sign your name, it's text. He has your phone number. So who is Sebastian Noma? And where the hell is Ruby? Russia. Ooh, what's it? What's the secret? Nostalgic bastard. Lex loves codes, so Sebastian loves codes. What does it mean? What is it an anagram for? We've been new. We've been seeing National Treasure. Da Vinci Code, this bitch. Double-breasted interrupted key cipher. It's Lex's favorite. Oh my God! Literally, Da Vinci Code up in this bitch. Let's go get it, Professor Langdon. Guess we're going to Casnia. Road trip. Hashtag road trip, lesbian road trip. <laughs> oh, time to get your comeuppance, Ben. Wait, what happened? Did she hurt the boy? No. Oh, damn. Damn, she went off. <gasps> Taws. Here are your symbols, planet. Take them back now. Wow, what an interesting end. Okay. Um, that super corp was off the charts. Here's the gay chart. It's in, you know, it's a bracket, it's the inverse lines. Lena and Supergirl talking to each other. Amount of gay that's happening. Directly correlated. That, obviously, okay. James is fine. Never really was super interested in anything going on with his story, especially when he was with Lena. Um, I'm glad that that's been now put to bed, finally. Um, she still cares about him, obviously, enough to try to save his life, but I mean, they all would do that for each other, let's be real. What's important in this show is A, Alex and Kara's relationship that has always been the core of the show, and B, I really do think that my unbiased, slightly biased opinion is that Lena and Kara slash Supergirl's relationship is the most compelling and is one of the, what should be at the forefront of the show, purely because it is about a female friendship, a very strong female friendship. It's hard for me to use the word friendship because there truly is like so much stuff that's in there that is like, you know, you wouldn't do that with your friends. But also if we're taking away our kind of biases and wanting to see Supercorp get together, it really is a really compelling relationship between two women that is just going through its trials and tribulations constantly and has a lot to do with trust and the loss of trust and wanting to trust. And Lena really does only have Kara 
at this point because James, like I said, that has once you once you've gone through that kind of breakup with somebody with having them being broken up due to a lack of trust, I feel like there is probably a barrier there now to trusting James. And Kara is all she's got. And it's like, dang, poor Lena. They're, the girls are going to Kaznia, so I'm so stoked for that. Finally, like, I'm ready for some revealing. I'm really ready, my body is ready for the reveal to happen. I'm, I'm prepared myself and I'm ready. All in all, that episode made me like James a little bit more, a little bit more sympathetic towards his plight, um, even though I feel like they're really just pulling stuff out of thin air for his character to do and to be and to matter. I mean, I loved the Nia storyline. I could not ask for anything more for her character to be basically Supergirl's protege, apprentice, like stepping up and taking that role that she had, like I said, in season one. Um, Supergirl stepping into the role of Cat Grant, oddly enough, and inspiring her to give these long, very inspiring speeches. So love that. And I do like the direction that the story is taking now that we're actually almost at the end. Only have a couple episodes left and I'm, I'm excited and I'm nervous. Um, really excited to see what's gonna happen at the end of the season and a little bit sad that it's ending. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's felt like <laughs> this has been going on for a very long time because we've had about six hiatuses this season. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction to episode 19. Please follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll see you guys back here next week for, actually it's this week because this is late. I'll see you guys back here very soon for episode 20.